Hey, Mom. Yeah? We've got Allstate, right? Uh-huh. Yes. Well, I found this new thing called... Allstate Quick Photo Claim. It's an app. You understand that? Just take photos of the damage with your phone and upload them to Allstate. Really? So you get a quicker estimate, quicker payment, quicker back to normal. I just did it. But maybe you can find an app that will help you explain this to your father. Introducing Quick Photo Claim. Just another way Allstate is changing car insurance for good. Hey, bartender. So, speaking of getting up early, you guys, I mean, y'all have done Good Morning America. Oh, yeah. That oh, yeah. show and stuff like Tough, that. man. Those man, trying to sing at 7 in the morning yeah. is really hard. Because it takes, it, it takes, you know, sometimes half a day to really kind of get your head open and your voice ready yeah. and... Those are the hardest things to do, man. It's like get yourself. Sometimes ready. they sound check too. At like you know, we played the Central Park Good Morning America thing, yeah, and like, like sound five. checks like five thirty, you know. So you're back that up, mm -hmm. however many to get up and try to wake up. I to remember. Go sound check. Here's here's, here's, a, here's our alarm. tiny little violin. With I mean, we got the best job in the world. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> once in a blue moon when we have to wake up early. But I, mean, I, I will honest. say my alarm went off at two forty five a.m. Just to get up, to shower, to go into hair and makeup. That's normally when we're going to bed. You know, it was like, might as well just stay up all night. <laughs> yeah. See, there's the big violin. Because you just, <laughs> I mean, you guys don't have to put glitter on your eyes. No, no. no. We, we can. Sometimes we do. <laughs> they try to convince us to. <laughs> you got your own bus now, Hillary? I do. It's kind of bittersweet, but honestly, being able to be out, on tour with my family is amazing. Um, my daughter just turned one in the uh, end of July, and and yeah, it's weird. I mean, we've got our nanny and the three of ours assistant actually rides on our bus, um, so it's not empty. You know, it's not just the three of us as a family. We have a couple of others, but I miss these guys. They they changed my room out mm -hmm. on the yeah. bus and turned it into a studio. Yeah, we actually. I see a big crocodile yeah. tear uh, going uh, on yeah. there, yeah. and it was it, it was. <clears throat> Interesting though, you know, we kind of did like Hillary kind of moved out. We changed the thing in the back of the studio, and honestly, I mean, you we were right we so kinda, much. Hillary but, uh, moved we out. Kinda, we got a dance and ball. Honestly, we didn't really finish it up. Not that kind of studio, right? She didn't really oh, finish. Sorry, she didn't did I say so something much wrong? Time, though. No. <laughs> well, yeah, not that kind of studio. But she uh, she well. would come over. And we we wrote the whole record pretty much on our bus. You know, we would have writers come over. Uh, come out on the road with us, and you got a lot of time during the day, you know, before you, you go out there. And, and so, literally, we would write a song, you know, for the next hour and a half or two, Dave would put together, you know, just a little work tape demo in the back. Hillary would sing, I would sing, Dave would sing, put it together. And it was like, within a day, you know, we had this kind of one-stop shop, so... You know, it was, yeah. your 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 bedroom was pretty no, good. I, use. And I would uh, hop in and out of the bus, you know, go change a diaper, go <laughs> feed the baby, come back. Like, you know, and they were very, they worked with me because, you know, that is one thing I will say. Touring has never been more fun because of having Isley. Life has never been more fun than it is now with her. But I will say there are way more plates spinning at once than there have ever been. And so you're kind of having to jump from thing to thing really fast and multitask and and you know you do it well some days and then you really suck at it other days <laughs> are you guys ever working and she like brings the baby over and you're like oh great. <laughs> no great the baby no, she's wait, the probably baby. the most chill oh, baby that say? Yeah. she's great she's, let me pet it yeah <laughs> <laughs> i will say the baby it, it, it really does just get passed around yeah. everyone because everyone wants you know a little time with her during the day and um, it is kind of funny. It's like just people kind of stand in line. I know you look up the next. You're yeah. like, who's holding nicely now? And she adjusts to it pretty well. You're a single uh, bartender. Yeah, um, very cool. You wrote that with Rodney Clausen. Yes, um, we did. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a funny story. We were again, we were out on the road, and um, and we had stopped to. Uh, well, but actually, before we had stopped to get a little dinner. Um, Barbecue. You know, Hillary was on her bus, and Dave and I and uh, and Rodney were kind of on there, and and um, so we're like, all right, what do you, what do you want to write? And Dave had this little you know work tape of this that riff that bump bump uh -huh. bump 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 with a little loop, and we're like, man, that's kind of cool. So we kind of started kind of coming up with some melodic not real ideas, cool, but kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. just kind of. Uh, I know, not real cool. <laughs> but uh, and then I had kind of pulled up, you know. I have my phone, you know, the notes, just a bunch of little kind of hooks and stuff. And I had Hey Bartender in there. I was like, man, it'd be kind of cool to, to write something like that. Because 
we w we went into this record wanting to mix it up. I think we're known a lot more for like our mid tempos and stuff like Need You Now, Just a Kiss. Mm -hmm. But you know, we also have songs like Love Don't Live Here and Looking for a Good Time, and we kind of wanted to get back to some of that because I think the more we tour and you're in these big venues, mm -hmm. you need those, and you know that. I mean, y'all know that better than anybody. I mean, it's the boot and scoot and boogies that that bring people to shows, and so we wanted to m make a conscious effort to make a really you know kind of in your face uh, fun record, and so you know the me immediately that just kind of grabbed us, and we stopped and had a little dinner, and we said, Hillary. I know it's late. You know, you're probably about to go bed. About to go to bed, but we're on a heater right here. You got to come over. So of course <laughs> she comes over, and it's just like, oh wow. And so we we just we were off to the races, and, and we I wrote just love the story too, and the perspective of this girl, you know, who's just had her heart broken, and and it's just I think it's such a relatable story because I mean that happened to me in college, or you know, once we got out on the road and I dated a handful of guys and it went south. You know, it was like. Your, your girls, girls yeah, yeah, your girls wanted to take you out and and help you forget about it for a while, you know, and and that was awesome. And I love that this girl and you know, and the song isn't just crying in her room, you know, eating a pint of ice cream over her heartbreak. That's, like that's when she, no, that's when she gets back from the bar. That's when she gets back from the bar. <laughs> yeah, she orders that's a when pizza she gets back. and then eats Ben and Jerry's. But no, it, it's um. I, like I think how it's she's awesome, taken. Hillary, that you didn't just date a dude. You dated a handful of guys. <laughs> 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 I mean, you talk about tempo. I mean, have you ever – I can remember it's at festivals. I mean, I know you've got lights and stuff programmed, like, I mean, when, you, when you're when you doing headline stuff. Yeah. At the same time, I can remember in festivals and stuff – looking at a set list and just drawing lines through songs yeah. uh -huh. yeah. and going and just yelling in the guy's ears. I mean, when they're fixing to count it off, we're yeah. doing so and so yeah. and so yeah. and so. Forget about because you look out yeah. there, yeah. and they're all of rocking. a sudden the fear of God <laughs> hits you, and yeah. you go, "We got it. We got to slam dunk this thing." Absolutely, you know? we've we figured that out too. I think we finally found a really good way to pace out the show, and it is. I mean, it's you know when you do have when you do hit them over the head, you know, with like bartender and compass and some of these things, then it like then when you do get to a song like Just a Kiss, it's like perfect. It's a nice breath of fresh air, and then immediately boom right back to like downtown mm -hmm. and and so i think you know again touring and, and just having enough material to really put on the best show i mean i think this is this tour has been that for us where we finally feel like we're at a point where an hour and a half it's yeah. a solid show from top to bottom you're getting mm -hmm. you know a couple fillers in there but pretty much they're they're singles and that takes a long time man and yeah i tell you it's um it just it feels like this year has been kind of where everything is starting to really Okay, now we have a show. The show's coming together. Fifth yeah. You know, for this fifth record, we're going to have even more of these type of songs. And um, I don't know, we're just kind of fired up. I, I, and we're I, just thankful, too. I think yeah. that everybody stuck with us to the point to where we are now and, and where we feel like we're putting on the best show that we've ever been able to. And that's because all of these songs, for the most part, are familiar to people and they've heard them on the radio. Um, and then I think we've just learned a lot over the years. Yeah. And you know, we feel like we've, with this new record too, it's called 747. But we we, we started working with uh, Nathan Chapman, mm -hmm. and he brought just this this crazy energy to the project that I don't know. It was just fun for us to mix it up, you know. And um, where'd that title come from? There's it's a song. song, yeah. There's a song called yeah. 747. But but we also thought the whole record, the, it just felt like in your face, you know. It's just moving fast. We wanted it to feel like a freight train. Not really a freight train, more like a 747. Like a jet. <laughs> like a jet engine. Like, yeah. <laughs> but it, it is. A freight a, train with wings. Yes, exactly. With wings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we we're just, you know, clawing for an endorsement with Boeing. <laughs> and you guys are awesome. about to get inducted into the Georgia yeah. Music yeah. Hall of Fame, which is very cool. So, again, not to ring my own bell, but I got inducted into the Louisiana Music yeah. Hall of yes. Fame. So I know when you're, you know, it's... We all kind of think aspire to the Country Music Hall of Fame for what we do. But at the same time, where you come from, mm -hmm. yeah. and for me, you know, in Louisiana and all the artists that have come from there and that whole yeah. musical heritage, tell me a little bit about Georgia and what that means to Gosh, you guys. I mean, Georgia's, you know, Charles and I grew up in Augusta, and everywhere you turn, it's James Brown this, James Brown that, and, you know, Otis Redding and the Allman Brothers. And I don't know, you know, you really grow up with that ingrained i think in you i mean like you were saying and and i mean that style of music i mean southern rock i mean i remember getting a bunch of those allman brothers records when i was learning to play guitar and i mean everybody listened to it i mean they yeah. were from macon and so i mean everybody around augusta and atlanta and macon listened to that you know style of music and that got me really into a lot of guitar playing and and, and writing and stuff and 
I don't know. It, it, I think it is. It does have a really special touch when it comes from your hometown. Because, you know, sometimes, I don't know, sometimes you don't feel like maybe, you know, you might not be appreciated sometimes or, or remembered where you're from. And then when people recognize you, you know, stand up and say they, they've loved what you guys have done and that we've represented them well, well uh, the is fact the that, ultimate compliment. That y'all transplanted from Georgia to Nashville. And, you know, my parents both kind of did the same thing. My mom from Texas, my dad from South Carolina. And and they've been in Nashville longer than they ever lived in the towns that they grew up in. But you still have those roots of where you came from and wanting your hometown to be proud of you. And and for me, I mean, I'm born and raised here in Nashville. So to be, you know, recognized by a state that I love because it led to, you know, the one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me in my life, like to be acknowledged by them is humbling to me as well because – I'm just kind of feeling like I'm along for the ride where that's <laughs> concerned because they're born and bred there. It's honorary but, Georgian. Mm-hmm. But it's nice to, to feel like an honorary Georgian. There's a lot, a lot of great music coming out of Georgia right now, too. I mean, obviously there has been for a long time, but gosh, right now, especially in country music, I mean, you got, you know, Jason Aldean, Luke yeah. Bryan, Zach Brown Band, you know, Sugar Land. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's, it's kind of Georgia's time, and yeah. especially from a songwriting. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, that totally. is mm-hmm. probably influencing country music more than anybody. No maybe. doubt. No doubt. Yeah, All the stage right. pickers and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Very cool. And then you got recognized recently by oh. the Nashville Business Journal, I believe, as the, what are you, the chick of the year or something? <laughs> like that. I, the businesswoman of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, it's I'm so humbled to be to be recognized alongside a lot of other women um, who have had an impact on the industry and and you know there's a lot of women who have been a, a very influential and huge part of our career. You know, it's funny like when I was thinking about it, thinking back on all of the steps that led us to where we are. I mean, we've had a powerful, independent, brilliant woman behind almost every single decision we've made like our lawyer you know there's just so many people who have have had such an impact and that is so awesome to me and so for me it's all of those other women who have poured into me and taught me so much a lot of them know who they are and I think there's a handful of women who I you know hope to to be able to have that night at the table with me to be able to acknowledge them as well that may not know just what an impact they've had um, on me and and the woman that I've become. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Very cool. Guys, thanks for coming in. Great to catch up a little bit. I'm going to try and sneak out there and see y'all play this year at some point. Our touring package next year, who we got coming out with us? Monstrous. We're excited. Monstrous. Monstrous. Awesome. It's going to, it's just, I think the fans are going to be just as excited for you know everybody all the openers coming out i mean it's just it's going to be a great night so Big looking well, forward thanks to that. for keeping that a secret and i'll read <laughs> yeah, some, i'll read some mail we'll figure this out and break the news we'll so, it out. yeah yeah all right you guys have a good one thank, thank you buddy thank you